G'day. In today's video, I've got a Lenovo IdeaPad 520-15KB. Going to be installing a 2.5-inch SSD and upgrading the RAM to 16 gig stick. I'm not sure what how much RAM this has to begin with, so we'll find that find that out along the way. To begin with, we're going to need a Phillips head screwdriver, and I'll let you know if any of these screws are different as we proceed through it. I'm also just currently treating a water damaged phone over to my left, iPhone 11, uh, XR that went for a swim. Currently the camera glass is very frosted. And so far all these screws are currently the same length, I don't think that will really change with any of these. There may also be a hidden screw under the drive tray. So let's see what we see drive tray and we have nothing. Put that off to the side. Hopefully there we go. Get a thin pry tool. Something like that will do the job. Lift it up just slightly. Should be able to slide this around. There we go, and we are now inside. And once we're inside, we have one hard drive here that I want to replace, and a stick, a single sodium of RAM over here. This looks like this just pulls up. There we go, and the two tabs here will push out and up like so. With that up and out, we should just be able to grab here, pull this back, or wiggle it back just slightly. See the copper pins come out, and there we go. I'm going to assume that's four gig of RAM soldered onto the board directly there, with this one here installed above it. To install the RAM, once I get this other RAM out of its packaging, let's put this down for one second. We'll give it a dust blowout while it's open, can't hurt. But to install the RAM, this just needs to go in on a 45 degree angle. Push in, pull down. So in, down. It should sit there just like this. Put the RAM over here. The RAM cover, got these little teeth here. Just line them up. And with a bit of luck, I oh, need to go a little bit higher. And push, and the RAM cover is now reinstalled once more. Hard drive down here, looks like you should be able to lift it up and slide it back, like so. One hard drive disconnected. With these teeth here. It does have this little cover on it. There we go. We're now out of it. This did have a two terabyte drive. Would have been a fairly slow machine. Okay. Two terabyte Seagate drive, which is getting replaced with this Team Group CX2 SSD. That should go into here. These little feet go in, push in. There, yeah, there, there. It should be a matter of sliding it back into here. Push. There we go. And down. And from there, the SSD is replaced. We're upgraded to an SSD. Now that that is replaced though, I'd have to either clone Windows from the old drive or do a fresh install. In this particular instance, I will be doing a fresh reinstall on this drive. There is no option for an M.2 uh, NVMe. It does look like there was previously a, on a different revision, revision of this model, one here that would go out to this direction. But sadly, there's not one here. So I'll just gave the computer a quick dust blowout. 
So now we're all good. Now from here, install the back cover once more. Should rest on there and click into position. With that all clicked in, it should be a matter of sliding the disk drive back in once more and then proceed to put those Phillips head screws all back in. With them all reinstalled, you should be right to continue with your upgraded machine from there. So I hope this has helped you upgrading your Lenovo IDPad 520-15IKB. All these screws are the same, so they will just simply go in anywhere you need to put them. And that will do for today. I'll catch you guys later and see you in another, in another video. Bye. One there, two, done.